Just to give you a snapshot of, of from an operational point of view, uh, every tour, every show has a front of house team that basically runs the front of house operations, anything to do with the guests. So within that team, there is eight to 10 supervisors, managers, and they run a myriad of different departments. So the hospitality department, you know, the bars, the boutique, the box office, inside the actual big top in the show, The Ushers. And uh, so I actually did, I, I started in Food and Beverage and I started as a local. So every city that we went to, we go to, we hire about a hundred locals to work for us. With the main reason being, there's two main reasons. The first is it's very important that our staff speak the same language as, they, as the guests. So say for example, in North America, it's not so much an issue because it is the same main language spoken everywhere. So no matter what country you come from, even as long as you speak English, you're fine. However, when you get to Europe, for example, and you're changing countries and languages very, very quickly, it's important to have the local staff so they're able to connect with the guests and able to serve the guests in the best way. And then obviously, a big part of Cirque du Soleil is actually putting back into the economy that they're, that they're currently in, right? So providing 100 jobs for a couple of months is, is one way they do that. So I was running those teams in many different shows all over the world and uh yeah, I think I mentioned that after after doing all the things, I found that I loved the VIP the most, the VIP salons, the VIP events, and that's really where I uh, spent the last couple of years. And I started just by in Brisbane, Australia. That's where I was. Uh, that's where I grew up. And uh, they came one year, and I started working behind the bar there, and uh, and and did really well. And a couple of years later, they came back, and I made the you know I networked kind of my way in, and then I did a really great job. And uh, there happened to be a full-time position open and that was kind of my in to Cirque du Soleil. And, and I've left and come back, you know, three times and done a bunch of other things, but it'll always be a huge part of my, my story, uh, especially from a work point of view, I guess from a, a life point of view as well, you know, living in hotels, traveling the world.